Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Perteller back with another service management leadership video. We thank you for visiting our channel and hope that you'll look around at some of the other videos. Today's topic is for leaders and how leadership is something that we uphold ourselves and ask of others in one form, and that's accountability. And I'm going to play this, this same uh, argument both ways, both from leaders to the other leaders or themselves and to their people. We've all seen it where a leader does not hold themselves accountable, himself or herself. And they say one thing and do another, but ask their people to be accountable, whether it's on their goals or what's on the projections or what's expected, things of that nature. And I want to encourage you leaders that unless you hold yourself accountable, admit when something doesn't go your way, own it, and move on. And the owning it, the owning it is the biggest thing, isn't it? Whenever we discuss things with people and we know that there's somebody in error and they know it and they own it, we move on. We are a forgiving society. Many leaders don't want to own it because they don't want to admit guilt or weakness. But all that does, when your whole team and your peers know that you messed up and you don't own it, it even shows more weakness. And I say that as straightforward as I can. In addition to leaders becoming accountable themselves, you also have to hold your team members accountable. We've all seen it where a leader will hold some of their team, but not all of their team, accountable. And what happens is you have slippage. And this lack of accountability permeates your team. Permeates. It makes it a difficult situation for all. When I was in graduate school, I learned this theory called equity theory. And anybody that has a sibling or has more than one kid, this is going to, you're going to say, well, duh. I know. Here, here's the theory. If you have two employees and you treat one with more bias than the other, let's try to figure out what word to use, more bias than the other, positively or negatively, the one that has the positive bias will think highly of you and may perform. But the one that isn't getting that attention, isn't getting the growth, isn't is negatively impacted by this bias, they're not going to perform as well. And that, I have two kids. If I treat one of them better than the other one, do I expect the one who's mistreated to respond just as well, just come back for more like a little puppy dog? No. We are humans. We know what's up. Over time, everything is, it becomes transparent. And no matter how well you want to hide it. And so leaders, I want to encourage you to be accountable yourself. Don't allow any slippage. Own what's yours. And for your team, hold them accountable. Allow them to own it and move on. It's not that difficult. Just try to remove the pride from it. Because that's how we grow. The more slippage, meaning lack of accountability you have, the more that grows. Isn't that true? The more we allow one person to get away with it, whether it's ourselves or someone else, the more they do. And we have to check that at the door because that's part of our pride and our ego. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on Service Management Leadership. Look around at our other videos. Like or share this video. Subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear any feedback, comments, or emails. We do thank you for joining us. Have a great, great day. Bye.